we also just talk about this because I missed this because I've been away for so long. So, um, unlucky for Lil Durk, innit? US rapper Lil Durk arrested over murder for hire plot. I'm sure most of you have heard this news already, but I just wanted to kind of cover it on my side of things. It says, uh, police records seen by the US media show, the star real name Dirk Devonte Banks was arrested at Broadwood County, Florida on Thursday night and is being held without bail. The arrest comes a day after five people with ties to Banks' hip-hop group Only the Family, OTF, were reported to have been charged in Chicago in connection with a 2002 shooting that killed a cousin of rival rapper Quando Rondo. Lil Durk has been has had six albums on the US Billboard chart um, top 20, top five since 2019 and has also collaborated with top stars like Drake and J. Cole and had hit singles. So this is really sad, you know, because I'm a big Dirk fan, big Dirk your fan, big Smirk your fan, but also not too surprising. If you're an actual fan of his, you, you would have known, you know, he's obviously of, you know, he's probably of, of that. He's, he's, he really lives that life, right? He really lives his bars. Um, he's, he, there's no cap in his raps, as some of the kids say. It's just unfortunate because, in a way, this didn't need to happen the way it did, really, if you think about it. If you're a real fan, it didn't have to happen the way it did because this is whole this whole place that he's in now in life is the consequence of the death of King Von. The death of King Von happened because King Von, basically, if you really read the tea leaves, kind of got offended that NBA Youngboy didn't really want to, I think, appear in a song of his that then started their beef, which then led to... King Von having an issue with Quando Rondo because Quando Rondo was down with with the NBA young boy and then which then allegedly which then unfortunately led to that fateful night um, outside that Atlanta club where Quando tried to rush or beat up Quando Rondo in person and then obviously Quando Rondo's guy ended up shooting him in retaliation to kind of protect his boy which any person would have done in that situation and then of course it all spiraled out to it being a situation that it is now so the real issue is that none of these guys actually have any real issues it just stems from the death of King Vaughn that all, all these bodies have dropped. All of these lives have been ruined. And if anything, as much as I love King Vaughn, there's actually a video of King Vaughn that people were sharing recently of his performance. I think like an acapella performance that's fucking incredible. The storytelling, like phenomenal. No one comes close to him. Definitely, we didn't get to see him really fulfill his you know potential. But King Vaughn's death, man, like that guy definitely was an evil dude because the amount of people's lives that have been destroyed and changed forever in the wake of his death has been really quite tragic to see ever since that guy passed away ever since that kid passed away things have never been the same ever again in hip-hop for a certain group of people you know they've all been negatively affected you think of even like asian doll she hasn't really been the same ever since kwando rondo hasn't been the same guy ever since he's clearly suffering from some level of ptsd he's all over the place um you know Lil Durk has been basically living with a cloud over his head since the death of King Vaughn because clearly he's been doing shit behind the scenes to kind of even the scoreboards um which also explains his turn suddenly to be super religious to put out positive music to be giving back to the community all this sort of like stuff to kind of rehabilitate his image it obviously didn't work you know the feds don't um <laughs> the feds don't uh the feds don't buy all that PR and marketing shit but all of that is again an effort to get away from that you know shit that happened and it would have been nice if cooler heads would have prevailed and they would have seen sense because even at the time as upsetting as it was being a king von fan to see or to hear that he died the way he died once you actually looked at the details you couldn't actually blame quando rondo's team and his camp for doing what they did because even watching the video it looked like king von's one that stepped to those guys he's the one that was the aggressor and you know in those type of situations in a state where you're allowed to bear arms and shit you have to know if you go and fight somebody, not everybody wants to fight. Some people are going to want to put an end to it and make sure you can stop hurting them and shit. And if they've got means to do so, they're going to do so. And they did so. And I think everybody should have walked away from that situation, obviously pissed and fucked and annoyed that their friend passed away. But it shouldn't have been a, a tit for tat. We killed one, you killed one of ours, we killed 10 of yours type of thing. It wasn't like that. They never really had any real street beef. You know, it wasn't. it was always just about hurt feelings, pride, ego and now you know the entire empire has come crumbling down and the basically the main breadwinner of the crew is probably going to go down for a lot of for a lot of years um if this is led to be true and the murder for hire plot as well has to do with if i'm not mistaken the the hit on quando rondo that ended up killing his cousin i think um little pub or little pulum i've got his name but essentially at the gas station they were um quando rondo and his guy were at the gas station and then um they're alleging that Little Dirk's guys pulled up in a car 
and show up the car with the hopes of killing Quando Rondo. Unfortunately, they killed his cousin. And that is what kind of, you know, was the reason behind that viral video of Quando Rondo screaming outside of the petrol station. No, no. As his kind of lifeless cousin's body gets kind of pulled out of the car. It's a really heartbreaking video, to be fair. But again, like, just a weird, sad situation. And then another reason why, you know, the streets are grimy. Because if you really look into the details, they're also alleging that there's some sort of like backdoor shit going on, which might explain why Quando Rondo kind of denounced the Crips because Quando Rondo before was a Crip and um, they're alleging that somebody from the Crips who was down with Dirk sold him out and basically give them, gave Dirk and his crew the drop on this kid. Then he found out, obviously, and obviously denounced the click and said, like, bro, like, if I'm down with a set and I go somewhere and I check in, I do everything I'm meant to do. I'm basically getting extorted, right? I'm basically getting extorted, even though I'm not, because I come from my own gang myself, right? Um, Quando Rondo is like a guy that's from the streets as well. He's from a pretty respected um, set out there in Savannah. But still, you pay your dues, you pay your taxes, you get extorted so you can have protection, quote unquote, while you're in LA. And then while you're in LA, because this group also happens to have connections with Dirk, they sell you out to Dirk for money, even though you're down with the set. Like, come on, man. Come on. That's some that's some bullshit. What's the point of checking in? What's the point of being down with a gang, down with a set, if you're just gonna sell me out to to the highest bidder? What's the point? You know? I might as well just pay for I might as well just pay for professional protection. I might as well just hire actual Navy SEALs, you know? Actual fucking mercenaries to protect me. Why would I what's the point of hiring these kind of de facto guys who are like, you know, well known within their within their hoods, within their scenes, within their sets, when they're actually gonna sell me out to the most maybe to the highest bidder or maybe to the most famous bidder. If the person's more famous, more clouded up, they'll sell me to him because they wanna get his good graces. It's absolutely horrible, man. Absolutely horrendous. But the other side of it that's really sad as well is that allegedly some guy from OTF, I think his name is OTF Jam. They're alleging that that guy was the reason why the whole crew came down because he was in and out of prison for a while. He did a really long stretch of 12 years. He was OTF's, like, you know, another one of OTF shooters. And when he came out, they're alleging that there were some promises made to him that weren't kept in terms of money, which again is another short-sightedness in terms of gangs and crews. They're alleging Dirk promised some things to some people, but he never followed through. Hey, I'm going to give you a record deal. Hey, I'm going to give you this amount of money. Hey, I'm hey, I'm going to give you this car, this house. But he never followed through properly. So he gave them something, but not what he promised, like promised, promised. So a lot of these guys held resentment. So I guess the feds had heard about this too, and they targeted those guys to get the, to, to make them turn. And obviously they got the OTF Jam. They're alleging he was one of the guys, and they made the OTF Jam guy wear a wire for two years. This guy wore a wire for two years. So could you imagine the amount of stuff he has on on fucking Dirk's crew and Dirk himself. Two years, the main shooter, a guy you'd imagine who'd be in a lot of conversations that, you know, would um would get people implicated. He wore a wire for two years, man. Absolutely crazy. So unfortunate situation, really is sad for someone like myself who's a big Dirk fan. But again, shouldn't be too surprised given the lyrics, given the bars. And again, given the legacy of King Vaughn, it's almost like um, this is kind of the final chapter of it, final nail in the coffin. But it's a sad situation, you know, regardless. The latest update I've heard is that Durkio is going to be, um, is going to be, uh, is, is going to go for not guilty and try to fight the charges in court. Um, again, I don't know, man. When the feds bring this sort of stuff to court or charge you in general, usually they've got a rock solid case. You know, we all know about their fucking conviction rates and percentages and shit. So let's see how it plays out. But it's not looking good for Durkio. It's not looking good for Durkio.